This book has been described and really praised as a love letter to Flint, and it sounds like there's something in it that you wanted to write for outside audiences who may not have had the privilege of being in this fine city, but also for people who grew up here and know some of these references. So how did you want to straddle that divide of writing for a really familiar audience and writing for an audience that may not know some of the details you mentioned? Yeah, so I was born in the 80s. I was born in 86. So my, um, my entering the, the city was at a pretty tumultuous like point in the city's history of the factory town, that identity was being lost, the city was losing population, the city was changing demographically. Um, and it was also like the Michael Moore era of Flint. Like I, I, like I remember when I was in high school, um, just like growing awareness of like, who, I think like Bowling for Columbine had come out. I was like, my mom would be like, my mom's on Zoom, she's probably like, correcting my posture and like, oh my God, what is she gonna say up right now? Um, but I remember my mom just like, in the, in the Bowling for Columbine, like, Renaissance or whatever, Michael Moore, my mom being like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I was like, what's all that about? And I like got a copy of Roger and Me on VHS, the Flint Public Library, and was like, I still don't get it, but I kind of get it, but like, what are you so mad about? And I was just like, ugh. Um, but like, that was kind of the only narrative of Flint. Of course, there are so many others. Like, I didn't know about the books of Christopher Paul Curtis until I was shockingly old. Um, <laughs> except for you're not, but just let that slide. Well, it's a quick fact that Kelsey's not shockingly old. Me and Christopher Paul Curtis went to the same high school, and when I didn't learn about him until my 20s, I was like, why did nobody at Flint Southwestern mention this to me? Or they did, and I wasn't paying attention. Um, it's far more likely. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and, and I think so many uh, Flint kids of my generation had that experience too of like through the 90s being so familiar with the city being made fun of um, or those dreaded like where are cities lists that they, they put out and Flint being a joke. Um, <clears throat> I think there was a, a big part of me, especially as um, I was living outside of Michigan, that was like, you don't know. You don't know, and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna write this book, and even if people of Flint like, don't agree with everything, or think I'm a terrible writer, or don't think I'm funny, or, or whatever, that's all okay with me, but to see um, the city accurately represented was very important to me.